today. We're going to be making a bully lockdown, man. Shades of uh, Lonzo Ball, Drew Holiday. But I call this a bully lockdown because this, this lockdown has insane strength, has insane speed. All the physicals are crazy, and it can yam on people. Okay, this, this build does get pro contact dunks, and if you leave it open, it's a really good spot-up shooter. So uh, it also has a high ball handle and a high speed with ball. So um, when it comes to um, – or high acceleration. So when it comes to having a defender on an island, this build is more than, um, you know, good when it comes to, you know, scoring the ball. So we got – we, we, this is a point guard build. We have a 6'4 uh, height, 230 um, weight. Now listen, guys. Um, if you look at this, I've gone over this in a few of my videos, but if you look at this, if you lower the weight all the way down, lower the weight all the way down, right? Let's lower it. Let's look at the strength real quick. Strength is a 59 strength. That's horrible, right? But let's look at the speed. All right, that's what you're doing it for. We have a 94 speed with ball and a, where's the actual speed at? And a 99 speed, right? That's horrible. But if I max out the strength, right, I get a 92 speed, but the speed with ball only goes to, it only drops to a it can go all the way up to a 99. So it's it's no question, it's a no-brainer that you want to max out the strength. I mean, not the strength, the weight almost every time. Depending on what you want to do or your play style, it could vary. But more times than not, excuse me, you're going to want to max out that weight. Now let's get into the build, man. So this build, I wanted, I wanted a fast lockdown or a powerful lockdown that could do whatever I needed to do. Now stamina, I always go 90. I think that's perfect, um, especially when you um, get gym right, all that, your stamina is just fine. Uh, at, at a 90, you don't need any, any more, any less. Um, vertical, always put that to a 75, especially if you want those contact dunks. Um, it's also good for staying up. This is where I wasn't too sure um, when I first made this build, but I'm going to put that at a 90, I believe. We're going to go a 90 strength. I think a 90 strength is good. And then we go to acceleration. You want to max out the acceleration. We're going to max out the acceleration because that's super important for those quick bursts with the ball. And we're going to max the strength out to it. I mean, the speed out to a 92. So we have a 90 strength, a 75 vertical, a 90 stamina, an 86 um, acceleration, and a 92 speed. We want that high speed so for when we're, um, you know, trying to guard ball or maybe we get beat so we have to let go of L2 and go for that chase down. We're going to max out the defensive rebound. We're going to max out the block for shot contest. We're going to... Um, we're going to put the perimeter defense to a 90, I believe. Yeah, we're going to put the perimeter defense to a 90. We're going to put the interior defense. Um, we're not going to touch that yet. We're not going to touch that yet. We're going to put the steel to a 90. So you already have elite perimeter defense, elite steel, so you can get those plucks whenever you want to. Um, the block is maxed out for uh, good contest. We have 25 defensive badges. We're at a 75 overall. Now, this is where it gets a little tricky, but this is where you have to you know, hear me out here. Look. Go for pass accuracy, 70 pass accuracy, so you're not throwing slow, you know, passes. You got to be able to, you know, have some type of pass accuracy. Ball handle, we're putting that up to an 86, so we get all the ball handle, um, all the dribble moves we need. You don't need the super elite dribble moves. If you want them, then maybe you could tweak the build, but I think an 86 is just fine. Speed with ball, I believe I put that to a 77. And the reason I put the speed with ball to a 77, um, you like to but i think in order to get the build a lot more evened out um having it at a 77 is just fine because speed with ball that's important but th that's after you are have already done your first speed boost right your first initial speed boost that's that's what speed with ball is um you know determines right so a speed with ball at a 77 isn't terrible because you have an acceleration right here which is that first speed burst you have an 86 acceleration so That'll add up together and give you some really nice movements, a really nice movement with the ball. We have the 70 pass accuracy, so we can hit, hit nice passes, and the 86, um, the 86 ball handle, so we can dribble, uh, we can dribble and get over. Now, three-point shot, we're going to put it up to a 75. Now, you can either go 70 mid-range and then upgrade the, the three-point to like a 78. But I think going 75 and 75 is probably the best deal. Let's say you want to ISO and hit some step back middies, or if you're feeling lucky, those step back threes. But I'd say this is more so for like a spot up on the 75, or if they're just leaving you open, hit that three point, hit that three point, um, you know, that three point bomb. But the reason I say if they're just leaving you open, right? You have a 90 strength. You get the bully badge on gold, right? You get the bully badge gold. We could even get name if you really wanted to tweak it. But the most important part is you get that 84 driving dunk. You get the 84 driving dunk, so you get contact dunks, right? You get the 84 driving dunk, you get contact dunks, so that gold bully is going to be perfect, right? 
you go to driving layup, you put that to an 80, so you get all, of, and it actually caps that right there, which is perfect. You get all the dribble moves that you need with an 86 ball handle, um, 70 pass accuracy, um, speed with balls decent. You get a 75 three point, 75 mid range, so you're pretty balanced in that aspect. That's an 84, so you get contact dunks, driving layups, an 80, so you can get the LA package, you get the Michael Jordan package, you get all kinds of packages with that one. Um, you get the turn package. So you end up with 14 finishing badges. Um, shooting badges, 19 playmaking badges, and 25 defensive badges. Now, keep in mind, you can get, um, you can also, you can core a badge, and you can add four badges on. So, what I would probably do is I would either add maybe one badge to shooting to get that 17, or I would get, or I would add four bat, and uh, so add one badge to shooting, and then add four to, uh, add three to uh, finishing, so you can get 17 finishing and 17. Um, uh, play make, play, uh, shooting and finishing, so that would actually be really balanced, really perfect. Or I would just add all four to finishing, because that's what you're really going to want to do in this build, is finish a lot more. Um, you can actually, um, right here, so I didn't touch free throw yet. You can either upgrade the free throw, which is cool, you can upgrade the free throw, so I'm going to show you guys what that looks like. You can upgrade the free throw if you'd like. It goes all the way up to 79, but you don't get any extra badges for that, right? So what I would do is I would go lower on the free throw, Right, I would go maybe 70 on the free throw, so you're not a complete liability, and I'd upgrade the close shot. Or if you don't plan on playing rec or anything like that at all, you can lower the free throw. Um, we can allow it to like a 59, and then upgrade the close shot. It, see, close shots obviously more important, but you can tweak it and get 15 badges. So let's see how low I can go in the free throw before. Let's put that up to a 49. See if I can get to 75. Yeah, 75, 49. Let me see, 75, 75. So I have to have a 50 free throw, okay. And then close shot, you can put that up to a 59. So and there we go, perfect. So 15 finishing badges, um, 16 shooting badges, 19 playmaking badges, and 25 defensive badges. So if I had to compare this to anyone, this would be like a 6-4 version of LeBron James. Like a 6-4 version because it's really good. Shooting, you can shoot. And uh, playmaking is really good, right? So um, there's like an upgrade. I would either put it on, which you could do, you could put it to a 41, do you really care? or I'd put it on the, um, you could just put it on because why not, a free throw, 54 free throw, and boom, there we go, so let's finish the build right here, I would go for the takeovers, I would go, you get a, you have shot creating takeovers, you have slashing takeovers, you have playmaking takeovers, and you have defensive takeovers, so you have a lot of variety with the takeovers here, I would probably go extreme clamps. I would definitely go extreme clamps. Yeah, that'd be that'd be a must have. And then I would go for my second badge, I would go finishing moves cuz the whole point of this build is to put someone on an island and turn, you know, really sauce them up with the dribble moves and then Get to the paint, get to the paint, get to the paint, and once they start playing up, and then you're able to shoot that three ball, shoot shoot that mid range, or uh, kick it out to one of your teammates once once the person helps. So as you see, shades of uh, Lonzo Ball, um, shades of uh, Baron Davis, and shades of, of Drew Holiday, right? And you built a perimeter lockdown. So you guys, let me know what you guys think of this build. I think it's pretty awesome. I would totally use this. You know, you can clamp someone in the perimeter clamp them even in the interior with that 90 strength do what you have to do you can also bully people six three guards six two guards um because you have more strength than them you get that gold bully badge um so you guys let me know what you guys think of this build um what i could have done better what i did good uh thanks for stopping by it's boy t-dog get him up